How's it going? This is meant to be a partial review on my 2014 Nissan Leaf and a take on my experiences this uh, last two and a half, just about two and a half years now that I've had it. I've got nine months, just about nine months and 15 days until I hand in my car. And I don't really want to give it back. Uh, I originally planned on buying it out at the end of the lease, but due to the lack of infrastructure here in the Midwest uh, and the relatively slow recharging time that I've come to realize that this car has, uh, I'm just going to have to give it back. Um, I'm just going to buy me a used Toyota Prius and that's just going to have to be, unfortunately, that's going to have to be my reality. Uh, gas is $1.80 normally. It hops between $1.80 and $2.10 here in the Midwest, uh, where I am in Ohio, Toledo, Ohio. So I, it's hard to justify having a plug-in car when gas is so cheap. Not to mention the nearest city, or the nearest town, I should say, from where I'm at is 55 miles away. So that really, with that lack of infrastructure, makes it hard to travel. But I would like to do a somewhat of an in-depth uh, review, a walk around of the car, and explain some of its more better features. Uh, it's really a nice car. I really do hate to give it back, but I know on paper I've got to give it back. Uh, the numbers just don't weigh in for the, favorably to keeping it. But nonetheless, for some people who have two cars, it could be a really nice car and could be it's only the beginning. With, with batteries getting better and with technology uh, increasing, uh, it's just a matter of time. Uh, but I think one day, when probably in the next generation, starting next year, I'll probably try to go back to an electric car, an all-electric car. Uh, the Chevy Volt or, is a nice alternative for me. V-O-L-T, Volt, not the Bolt, but the Volt. And um, I really like that idea with a range extender on board, just in case when I tap out on the battery. Uh, that's really nice. And I want to be able to drive across country, and you can't do that very well in something like a Nissan Leaf. My battery, I don't think, has really had any degradation in the last two to two and a half years that I've had it. So it's really a stable investment for people who want it. Uh, who can can make it work in their lifestyle but I'm gonna take a walk around here explain some of its features that I have I have the uh, Nissan Leaf S with charge package so I have the Chademo uh, 30 minute quick charge and I also have the uh, I also have the 240 as well uh, but I've never used the, the quick charge because there are no quick charging stations here in town we have one, but it's most of the time broken because of vandals. So, yeah, I'm just gonna we're gonna do a walk around now, and we're gonna check it out. So we're just we're just gonna do a quick walk around, and we're gonna see all the various features. First one is I have the charge port, 480 volt, 30 minute quick charge port, and I also have the 230 volt uh, level two charging. I usually use that. Uh, I also actually mostly use the 110 volt trickle charger that came with the car. Um, that's what I use most often. So let's go around here. We'll check it out. See my car is still very good condition. Very nice. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, yeah so I have the pretty big uh, amount of space here in the back. Uh, I got my skateboard here. Uh, I've got a bag and a couple other little doodads. I got a helmet. Um, I don't think I've ever taken this off. It's just sat here. Um, let's see here. We go around here. It's got the keyless entry of course. Standard on all Nissan Leafs. Um, I'll just go ahead and turn it on here. We'll check it out. All right. Now mine has lost zero capacity bars. Zero. It's got, I think, 12 
and uh, however many it's got, it's got them all. Uh, I'm at four, 45 percent right now. I'm at 45 percent at 58.1 miles driven today. Uh, it's only got, I've had it for over two years now. It was two years in May, and I've got uh, over, you know, 22,000 miles on it. That's not bad. Um, but it is warm weather right now, so of course I'm getting better mileage, um, getting better per range. Um, but I only have the, uh, I don't have the infotainment system or anything else. So I just have this, but it works for me. It's been really nice. Um, I've got this climate control here. Uh, you just set it, I usually just set it to auto and it works pretty well. Uh, you just maintain whatever temperature you want it at, setting it to AC um, or heat, whatever you want here. I have the heated seats and I use those all winter long. The entire winter, I have them always on high here. Um, then I have the all the little doodads here: uh, heated steering wheel, timer, uh, charge lock. Uh, I have the charger door. That that's how you open it up: the little door release, and then traction control, which I never mess with that. Um, then I have the just you know the this is just for the menu to go through the different menus and whatnot. Uh, tripometer here. Alrighty. Yeah. But, it, yeah, I didn't set it. But, but yeah, that's different menus. Um, I think pretty much, but I don't pay attention too much to the, uh, the various modes. Um, see, it says that, uh, I would, it would take me under 240 at 6 kilowatts, three and a half hours to charge this, which is not bad, but... Three and a half hours when you're driving on a trip is a long time. 120 volts. See, I, I don't have any uh, dedicated uh, level two charger at home. I've been using for the last two two years and some odd months that I've had it. I've been using 120 volt uh, at 13 amps. So that's my 13 and a half hours right there that I've been doing it. I never normally have a full charge if I go beyond 40 percent um, down lower than 40 percent, uh, but I never normally need to. Uh, my average is four and a half. That's pretty good for this car. I found in the winter that could drop as low as 2.1 Never know um, But I usually just keep it on the uh, battery simple thing here um, But it's a nice car. I got leather uh, rather ra leather wrapped steering wheel and of course um, You know you got your little mirror adjustment and I like the chrome finishes here even if it is plastic probably um, this stuff is starting to hold up pretty well but it's it's showing its age a little bit but uh, better than the Toyota Prius second generation that's for sure I keep my little bottle here and I have this little charger for my phone here and I even have a little duster right here in the corner kind of packed in there for dusting which I have not used in a while uh, it's got ample room for passengers, I got these seat covers here, but they're kind of lousy. Uh, but they do the job. And I've got a lot of room in the back. And I never have anybody back there, but uh, it looks pretty much like new. Fresh. It's usually just me driving this car. Um, let's go outside here. We'll check out more of it. Now my car, my car particularly was made in Smyrna, Tennessee. Uh, it was since it was the second year of uh, U.S. production. the f The first year was 2013, I believe. Uh, I got these. Supposedly these seat covers were custom made for this car, and they were, but they're not very high quality. So uh, I don't recommend them to anybody. But I'm not even. I don't even remember the name, honestly. Uh, but back here, my interior is still brand new. To give you an idea of pretty much how it's holding up um, yeah it's pretty bad it's not pretty bad at all but got some cheap floor mats back here it's pretty much like new um, not a bad car though I really like it um, it's nice to have the keyless entry 
the keyless entry I couldn't live without now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, with this push button start here, which is hidden back here, you just tap it once, it turns off, tap it again with your foot on the pedal, and it turns on. There is not a single analog gauge in this place. It's just all digital. LCD display. It's amazing. Or I should say L LCD, not L LCD display. But um, it's really a nice thing. It's a nice car. And it's got uh, on steering wheel controls where I can control the radio. And it's got Bluetooth here, which I never use because I just use the Bluetooth on my Bluetooth headset. Um, I connect with my headset, so... But it's really nice. Um, it's kind of, you know, like materials are, I don't know. The plastics are nice, but they're not, some of these plastics are not the best. Um, but like up here, you can see it moves a little bit here. But it's done that since day one. And I've got the, uh, these little full down flap vanity mirrors here which are holding up very nicely my headliner is holding up perfect and everything's great and it's really awesome but unfortunately with this measly uh 84 miles epa range uh i can't really get too far uh, i can't really get too far unfortunately but I, today is actually a very efficient day because I've been light footing it all day. That's how I still have 45% at 52 miles. Uh, but that's, of course, I haven't used any AC other than what I've done in this video. Uh, so that's the thing, you know. I've been sweating it out. It's been 80 and up all day. I've been driving around all day for the last eight hours uh, from store to store and going to the park. So... Yeah, that's probably my favorite thing about the Nissan Leaf is its startup chime and full LCD uh, dashboard. It's really quite a nice vehicle, uh, which I know I've said that many times, but I just can't say it enough. Uh, it's high quality, and the thing is, um, the lithium-ion battery for the Nissan Leaf is what's called a laminated lithium-ion battery. Uh, it's... The thing about it is it's got 192 cells divided into 40, I think, 48 modules. Um, and that's the thing. Um, the pack has got these 12 capacity bars here over in the right-hand corner. Uh, once each one of them is gone, uh, once, I think once you get below 8, bar, eight capacity bars... Uh, then you start to notice substantial range uh, loss. But until then, you could still achieve, I think, 70 miles, they say. Um, still, though, not a bad deal. I even got the uh, Nissan Leaf kick plates, which are an added accessory. Um, I got the WeatherTech floor liners, which is so dirty right now in, in the side of my car here. I gotta vacuum this out. Uh, I would recommend these to anybody. Um, this is not a paid uh, advertisement or promotion of any type, uh, but I do recommend them because they're a good company. These have held up through ice storms and all kinds of mud and debris. Um, so definitely I would recommend it. At least get the, uh, the front two seats because I'm afraid of the carpet you know, might wear out if you don't have them. Uh, that's the only thing. My seats... I'm glad I got these covers because the seat quality here is not of the highest grade. Uh, let me tell you, it's just not. Um, it was wearing out, so I decided to get the seat cover. But this seat cover was made and uh, supposed to be custom fit, but not really. So I'm just going to throw this thing out when my lease is up. But it's working for now, so I'm just going to keep rolling with it. Um, but otherwise, doing pretty well. I do love the look of this car though. It is a nice car. I really enjoyed it and have and I'm still enjoying it and will enjoy it for the rest of the time. Um, it's just a nice car though. As you can see, the headlights are kind of weird looking. Uh, but it's pretty nice though, nonetheless. And I could just imagine the repair costs on one of those headlights. Uh, that's probably not a good thing. Um, but 
after two years and some odd months, uh, it's holding up pretty well in terms of quality and paint quality and everything. Um, I'm kind of wondering about how it's going to do in the future, but of course that's with any car. Um, it's not bad though. I mean, Nissan's first foray into electric cars. Uh, it's really not a bad car. Um, for anybody who's looking for a second car, this would be perfect. Uh, I didn't get the alloy rims, but I got the just got these hubcap things here. Um, that was, but that was okay with me though. I'm all right with that. Uh, these are low rolling resistance tires. Uh, they're called Bridgestone Ecopias, and they're okay, but you can really, really burn your tires up if you're not careful on this car. I will say that to anybody who is going to get this car uh, or is thinking about it. These are not that high of quality of a tire. The plasticizers in this tire and the tire they use here uh, are really cheap. So they burn up pretty quick, especially with the high torque of the electric motor. Uh, that's one of the big things. But that's nice though. It's They're, they're holding up. I think I still have... Uh, plenty of tread left here so I'm doing good uh, but it's a really nice vehicle so that's uh, that's the thing it's about a really that nice car and it really does pain me in a certain way to have to give this back because I wanted to go oil free and totally be done with this having to get gasoline business uh, I don't I never liked having to get gas I hated it every time I roll in that gas station uh, I hated it. Just didn't want to be there, wanted no part of it. So this car has been a dream. However, now I've realized an, the whole thing of not being able to get out of town. Here in the Midwest, we have are surrounded by uh, rural farmland. So once you get out of town, if you don't have the ability to get out of town to the next town, then that's not good. You'll never make it to the next town if you can't drive at least 100 miles. Uh, so, yeah. And another thing is, I'd like to move, maybe I'd like to move to Florida or, or California or somewhere far away. Can't do that in this car. So, I think it's probably best for people with two vehicles, which that's pretty obvious by now. But, uh, nevertheless, I love the car for what it is, though, for being a... A good vehicle that can get me around. I haven't had a single problem. I think I still have the original wiper blades on the car. And th this is amazing. This car is really, it's been the most reliable, efficient vehicle that I could ever imagine. I cannot give it enough praise. Unfortunately, just that one little thing means that I have to give it back. You know, the range. Uh, so, unfortunately, but maybe on the next time when they come out with a... Uh, 200 or 300 mile range vehicle but honestly by then I'll probably be on to a Tesla so but then it is what it is though you know it is what it is but that has been my take on the whole my whole Nissan Leaf experience just thought maybe I'd share that with anybody and uh, see maybe it could help somebody out there who's trying to decide and maybe on the fence because my lease is up in nine months but I already know right now I'll have to give it back. I'm going to give it back. Plus, I also forgot to mention, they want $12,000 to be able to buy this thing out. Well, that's kind of unrealistic in my opinion, considering the fact that it can only go 84 miles and the battery can't last forever. So, that's something to consider for anybody who's deciding to get one of these cars. Nonetheless, it's a great car though. If you can get past those barriers, those mental barriers, and you're okay with that limited range. I could still, though, get 84 miles uh, out of this car if I were to not use any climate control and be very light on the throttle, or the accelerator, I should say. Uh, you could still get 84 miles or more out of it, even after two years. I'm gonna say, like, almost two and a half years. So that's been my experience and my take on why I'm gonna have to send it on back in. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and comment, and thank you very much. Bye-bye.